Hello, my name is Mark Mon Williams and I'm Professor of Psychology at the University of Leeds. One of my areas of interest, research areas of interest, is the topic of perception. What we did in the first podcast in this series is define perception. And we learnt that perception is the process by which we obtain information about the world and about our relationship with the world. And we consider different types of information which are available to us as humans. So we talked about mechanical energy, we talked about thermal energy, we talked about chemical energy, and we also talked about electromagnetic energy, or light. And what I want to do today is just consider why light is so important to us. Why is vision so important to humans? Well, in the first podcast, I suggested that the reason perception is so important is because it provides organisms with an evolutionary advantage. If you want to understand why we perceive, we've got to look at it from an evolutionary perspective. So why is vision so important to us? Well, vision is so important to us because it provides us with an evolutionary advantage. Vision allows us to interact with the world in a skillful manner that helps us survive as a species. So vision is important to us because of its importance within evolution. So why is vision so advantageous to us in an evolutionary sense. Well the reason that vision is so important to us is because of the prevalence of light on our planet. So our planet is bombarded with electromagnetic radiation from the Sun. And we can think about that electromagnetic radiation as having different wavelengths. So we have long wavelengths and we have short wavelengths. And in the middle of these different forms of electromagnetic radiation we have a band of radiation which is what we call light. It's the visible wavelengths. And humans are particularly sensitive to those wavelengths of light. So why have we evolved to be sensitive to those forms of radiation? The simple answer is because those forms of radiation are prevalent on Earth.